and bringing Spartacus, the therapy dog. We're going to talk about the role that you and Spartacus played in the Newtown shooting on December the 14th. We all know what happened at Sandy Hook Elementary. How did you enter in with a therapy dog and do so much, do great things for families and children to get them on the road to recovery? Well, first of all, thank you for having us. Um, on the 14th, um, I felt the need to do something. Given my background, we also volunteer. A former officer. Yep, and we volunteer at Yale New Haven Hospital. And since that's only a level one trauma facility that treats the both both adults and children, and we go throughout the entire hospital system, we've had uh, many ex different experiences. So we thought we could be helpful. The 14th itself went up to St. Rose of Lima Church, and Monsignor Weiss gave us full permission to go throughout and be with the families as needed. Uh, we sat with a few families and just let Spartacus be with them. What does a therapy dog do in a crisis like that? Therapy dogs help lessen anxiety, blood pressure. Um, they help a person decompress. In some cases, just distract for the moment. Um, help them forget where they are for that brief second of what's happening. Um, and if they're an animal lover, they get a little bit more attached. They'll scratch and they'll, and they'll cuddle uh, with the dog um, and just kind of help them diffuse. What did Spartacus do for children? sisters and brothers of those who had passed. What, what did you see happen and what do you see happen with a child and a dog? The children felt very safe with Spartacus um, because he's a large dog. Um, they felt secure. One of the biggest lessons we learned was that the children were not ready to talk yet. The parents could articulate things. They, asked, they felt the need to get that information from the children. But the children, either depending upon their age, weren't ready to talk, couldn't articulate, or were just tired of the parents saying, talk to me, talk to me. And uh, we've we had several instances of children just talking to the dogs. A uh, survivor from Mrs. Soto's class was talking with Spartacus. Um, and this child all of a sudden just started opening up. You had told me this had never been done before in this type of a situation that dogs are being brought in and helping children. Do you see going forward that you're gonna get called on all the time, you and other folks that own dogs that are involved in therapy? We've already started receiving the calls. Um, from Tell me that. about them. Uh, one of the uh, first calls actually was a school system. Um, one of the psychiatrists from Yale happened to be at a Christmas party with one of the representatives from the school system trying to get to children who have anger management issues. Mm -hmm. And they called me up and they said, would you like to participate in a pilot program? And so we did that program and now it's became permanent and it's going on for next year as well. You got a call to go up to Boston. Yep. Uh, one of my uh, teammates got the call from the Boston Athletic Association uh, requesting therapy dogs um, up there. This is post the Boston yes. bombing. Yep. And this Sunday is, is a 10K that's going on in Boston. And the winner from the Boston Marathon is flying back in um, from his home and presenting the gold medal to Boston. How did you as a former officer and you're a private investigator now get Spartacus and decide that you're going to also volunteer your time and do this kind of therapy for folks? And it was just happenstance and a path less traveled by kind of the sort of thing. It wasn't a... We're all led down paths. Yeah, or, or guided. Um, Spartacus is my second Akita and I was looking for a very particular type of Akita and um, so I got him, and, and uh, he was a very cute puppy. And people would always run down the street and, and want to say hi to him and pet him and that type of thing. And, and then an autistic child on the New Haven Green during a concert came up and sat with us. And he was very articulate. You would not know any different. And he sat with us for two hours. And his parents were very uh, cool with that. And um, so I kind of put the thought in my mind, and, and then um, someone sent me a, a video of, of a therapy dog and uh, so I decided to have him tested and he passed and I said you know someone's trying to tell me something and so I just moved forward. I never expected just to pay it forward so to speak. I never expected something like December 14th to happen. Mm -hmm. 
You and how many others have therapy dogs in this state? And, and do you get together often? And, well, I there, mean, there, there are many different groups. There's yeah. national organizations, regional and local ones. Uh, one out of Newtown formed because of the effectiveness of, of the teams there. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, I know one organization has 25,000 members. Another, wow. n another national organization has 11,000 members. There's some that are just in the tri-state area that have one or two thousand. Now we're looking at some pictures. What is this? Mm -hmm. This is a Sandy Hook with a Spartacus. What, tell me yep, about this. That thing. is at a high school basketball game. That was the first time that really the, the Newtown community came together. And so this is some of the high school girls uh, around Spartacus. And um, he's just soaking it up. And this is obviously, you know, Dad and Spartacus. Yep. That's you, of course. Yep, uh, that's at Yale New Haven Hospital. Uh -huh. uh, where, where they're working. And how do you get called? And this, tell me about this. This is the 5K road race up at Hartford that was run, um, I believe, in March or April. Um, and uh, we got up there early, and we had one of our dog teams actually run in the race. And we didn't run, but I wanted to get a picture that was kind of iconic. And with the Sandy Hook banner in the background and at the finish line, I uh, took the picture. That's amazing. And let's go to the next one as well. That is the Lutheran Church group out of uh, Illinois. Um, that is their dogs. They did a fantastic job in Sandy Hook. They were in the high school, and they donated a dog to Sandy Hook Elementary, who's been working there ever since. Really? Yep. So there's a dog in the hallways? Yep. And this, of course, therapy dogs of Sandy Hook. Yep. Tell me about and this, this shot is particularly, the dog in this shot, what, is this near December 14th? Yes. This was taken at the Emergency Operations Center. And one of our team, uh, who's active law enforcement, has two therapy dogs and was at the center. And he worked with the firemen and other first responders that had been at the scene. So the dogs work with children, they work with adults. Yeah. December 14th and the days after at Sandy Hook, how were first responders who had shown up at that school on the first day and subsequent days talking with dogs. What, what did you observe happening? I was over with the children, but I know from conversations with my colleagues, some of it is just being able to hug, and while I may not release emotion to you, I'll give a dog a, a dog a hug and I'll start just crying. Do people understand how important the dog therapy is? Do you think that they're starting to get it? They're starting to understand it, but what, what happened at in Newtown and Sandy Hook had, to that degree, it had never been done before. We brought in teams. We had a 100 dog teams there by Wednesday from all around and the country. And I don't think that was really reported much um, at all. No, you saw the Goldens have a very good uh, PR department, so mm -hmm. they got their pictures mm -hmm. in the news and stuff. Um, I actually threw out several reporters from the, one of the secured areas that were trying to get in um, because it was a secure area. Um, and what happened behind the scenes was just very healing. Mm -hmm. People were coming in. They didn't know who to talk to, how to talk, if they wanted to talk. Um, sometimes the parents would be talking with the counselor, and the children would be either in the activity room, that, which was run by Save the Children, or they'd be with us. And we'd be in the cafeteria having lunch with them, or we'd be walking outside with them. Is Spartacus's work done in Newtown, or do you keep going back? We've been, we've, we've been up um, um, every week, every other week, depending upon my schedule. Um, the kids look forward to seeing all the dogs. We still have until uh, tomorrow 30 dog teams working up in the area. I, it, that is just amazing because we're not hearing a lot about that. But, you know, me being a dog owner and having, having actually two dogs, mm -hmm. I, I get what this is all about. If somebody is watching this and they think, oh my gosh, we've got to get some dog therapy in my school or in my church or in, you know, wherever, how do they get a hold of folks like you? Well, they're, if they go on the internet and Google therapy dog organizations, there's a website that has a list throughout the country. And they'll list for Connecticut and other places. And there's several um, organizations that are prominent in Connecticut. Therapy Dogs International, um, there's Pet Partners, there's the Good Dog Foundation, there's Therapy Dogs Incorporated. But all that is on the list if they uh, Google therapy dog organizations. And they can fit, pick the organization that fits their needs. Well, thanks for coming on and enlightening us and helping so many kids and adults through Newtown and all the other things that you're going to find yourself in. I appreciate it so much. It's Brad. our privilege. Thank you, Anne.